We've been getting a lot of social media comments that people living on First Nation reserves should just pay for their homes. This claim isn't new. It's probably been around since, oh, the dawn of Canada's colonization. But we're gonna set the record straight. Housing on reserve isn't free. On reserves, there are privately owned homes and there are community owned homes, just like off reserve. And just like off reserve, people pay for their homes. In fact, across Canada, over 50% of homes on reserves are privately owned or rented. One report found that some communities have 80 to 85% home ownership rates. The rest is band housing, which is managed by the community. Each community can decide how they want to rent out their housing. Many communities provide social and subsidized housing for members who are struggling and need support. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Aha! Free housing! But housing assistance isn't unique to reserves. Across Canada, there are over 575,000 subsidized rental units off reserve. Hand in hand with the free housing myth is another myth that Indigenous people don't pay property taxes. But guess what? Some people living on reserve pay property taxes. Yes, property taxes. Across the country, there are 151 First Nations that have established property taxation laws. So free housing on reserve? Not so much.